Very good. I like it. So we slowly... Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. It slowly gets sorted. Now this should just become very beautiful over time. Getting it all cleared out. Greetings guys and girls and fellow gamers, my name is Games of Cakes and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. We got off to an okay start. We're having no big problems at the moment. We're trying to increase the size of our base and try to get to more resources that we need, like the water right here. I'm also trying to prepare a water tank that you guys mentioned in the comments I should start looking at. And we're gonna go from here and see where we're gonna get. I hope you're gonna have a good time watching the episode. If you do, remember to kick that like button in the balls to support the channel and the series. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. So let's get started! Now, there's a few things that I want to mention from the comments. We have renamed Gossman to Ola Hot Dog. We decided we don't really care about male or female. We just care about getting the names into the game. That's, that's, I think it's a good idea. It's all a little bit of fun, so let's not worry too much about it. Now, I have a vacuum down here, which I want to open up so I can get the carbon dioxide soaked up into that. And this will actually make a very good area then to start building our, ala, uh, our aloe farm, whatever it's called, our... Algae farm. I don't know why I had aloe vera in my head for some reason. Our algae farm can be built down here, which is very low, and I don't think I want to go any lower than that for the moment. So that should be low enough for our base here. And then we can start connecting all these, pump all the gas down. Now for the moment, research-wise, what we're looking at is interior decor, which we're gonna follow up by liquid pumping. And that means we can start pumping all the water into our little water basin, which I'm designing here and hopefully have finished by the end of the episode. And at the same time, after the liquid, we're gonna do the gas and start researching into, um, no, sorry, from the liquid pumping, we're probably gonna go into sanitation so we can get access to the air deodorizers. Because as you guys have mentioned in the comments as well, air deodorizers, um, they're clean contaminated um, oxygen and put make it into breathable oxygen. Meanwhile, these guys here, the algae deoxidizers, only turn algae into oxygen, which means we're building up a higher pressure of oxygen as we run them. So it's not really cleaning anything out. So maybe we should have one running. I disabled both of them for the moment. So if we enable one of them at least, we should not get into the dark blue. We should kind of stay in the brightish blue um, coloring here for the for the air. Like this one here is very nice breathable air. So this one becomes already breathable, but it's not very breathable. Like this guy here up here is very much breathable. Like this is not so as much. It's getting slowly into the um, darker area, which is not good. This says breathable, but it's very, very bright. Hmm, interesting. Now that our decor is fully researched, we can actually start moving into the liquid pumping. So we're gonna do that. And then maybe the gas pumping or the sanitation, it really depends. I'm not really 100% sure yet, but let's do the gas pumping first, uh, the liquid pumping first. So we can worry about getting liquids into here from one place into another. Because here, I don't want them to run all over the shop. Um, this here, I also want to start pumping over to this side here into this, and this will have to be all dug out. For the moment, I have, them, I have given them other priorities that they're gonna have to follow, of course. Hopefully, they're gonna start digging through here soon. Now, our decor is ready, which means we can put blank canvases up as well. And we're gonna start putting them up pretty much everywhere because um, that way the guys don't get stressed or they don't, I think it's all for good for stress. They don't get stressed no matter where they are. We're also gonna have to watch our, watch our compost uh, at some point because everything from the bathrooms, I think, will be brought over to the compost area. But this all generates um, bad air, so we need the air deodorizers to filter out the contaminated air and put it in, and turn it into oxygen. I'm still probably gonna get a lot of things wrong, but we're gonna get better as the game goes along. So let's start putting the job role for the artist to only the best. So let me see here, that's creativity level level zero. And that is creativity level six. So I think the only person that should really be painting anything for the best possible picture is Maxi. So we get some nice, beautiful pictures. Oh, and we have another briar seat here, which is absolutely fantastic. That is lovely. So we get ni nice max decor. So if we're gonna go, what else did we unlock here? Ceiling lights, oh, that is gonna be brilliant. And the massage table and the mess table. We're gonna have to make an eating hall at some point. And let's worry first about putting up some pictures. So we're gonna put these pictures up. Here's not as important right now, but here we definitely want um, a picture. So let's leave a space of two. I think they they might have a good range of two. There we go. And then we can put another one up right here. 
that should be okay. And we can also put one right over here, but there is enough here. We don't have to worry about the core issues. And what we can do then is we can put one right here and here and here and do it the same way. And that should give us enough decor rating so that the guys are not going to get stressed in any room that they're going to, hopefully. Now they're starting to dig into the vacuum. Yes, and it should hopefully suck up all the air. So this is where we're at at the moment. And this is what I mean. The pressure gets so much that it starts pushing up the bad air as well. But hopefully them digging into this area now will get rid of that problem. Yes, hopefully that will lower now. Oh, yes. Oh, it's not going down the weight. Oh, it is. It is. It is. It is. So what we can do is now our algae place should be going here because that will do a lot of good then. And then we can connect these two and this can flow nicely down here. No problem. That's the idea anyway. Let's hope it works out like that. Okay, we got a new duplicate. Um, for the, we can take one more duplicate and then I'm probably going to stop taking them in. Because for the moment we have no food problem. It says that we have insufficient um, oxygen, but I think having one more person will be just about the right level between having enough to work. Uh, because some people have to do mandatory jobs, like we should nearly have nearly all the time a person on the generator, one person nearly all the time on the microprobe rusher, and one on science. And then when we build the bigger computer over here, um, actually that picture probably has to go, because we're gonna have to put the bigger computer here, and then maybe put a picture beside it, I don't know, or just over here. And between the computer and the science, we're gonna have up to four people constantly busy, so we want to have at least one person which can do all the time some random jobs without neglecting anything more important. So I think I'm going to take one more person in, unless they're all really bad choices. Now we don't want a mouth breather. A mouth breather is where the problems come in with sleeping. Now a yokel is fine if they can't perform research, that is absolutely okay. Oh look at that, another creative person, that is actually really good. A duplicate wakes up feeling fresh and efficient in the first part of the day, adds plus two to all skills. Amphibious. Oh. I think that is very good for when we have to start building all the the, pi the pipes and the pumps underwater. And somebody was telling me in the, co uh, in the comments as well to use one of those because of that. That is really, really good. So we're going to take you. You have good form medicine. So let's print you. And then you I be, uh, will be occupying the last bed, dude. Look at that. Nice. Max. Well, you're not going to be named Max for long, I guess. We're going to see what we name you. Gonna just wait until the next episode for that. And here we can assign Max to a bed. Very lovely. Now somebody was saying in the comments that they played the whole game without any beds. And that they're really not getting that first. That's something I'm gonna have to look into and try out. Because that sounds really awesome. You can see here now one deoxidizer is actually enough to create a nice flowing bit of air. So this one is not really needed at the time. I thought they actually cleaned the bed air, but they're not. And that is uh, where my mistake was lying in. And the air deodorizers, they don't clean the, C, it's the CO2. The, what they do is they clean, um, not, they don't clean the carbon dioxide, they just clean the contaminated oxygen, which um, we get from the toilets, from the bathroom, all that. So we're going to put a deodorizer probably here right on the edge, or maybe inside here, we'll see how it goes. And then another one here as well. And we also have to make storage comp compactors down here that just store the smelly stuff. So that everything that smells and creates con contaminated air is right here between oxidizers. Uh, between air deodorizers. Now down here, this is going to be our algae room where we're going to clean or, or clean out all the carbon dioxide and turn it into good air, hopefully. And uh, I made this a priority because we need oxygen probably sooner rather than later. Because you can see here, even though while this is all looking clean... And this actually became cleaner than it was before. I don't want this to start getting out of control, especially with this still lingering around here. So I made this a slightly higher priority for now. And we are actually not stressed. It's All, all our hot dog is getting a bit stressed, but that's okay. We are researching um, sanitation. Actually, we, I think we're going to have to research sanitation after that. Because we need to get showers into place and hand sanitizers. All that jazz. And there's also some side effects of the hand sanitizers, which... Probably, I think uh, I remember correctly, somebody said they create bad air as well. Contaminated air, I think. So we're going to have to be careful with that as well. So these guys are digging all this out. Now that they dug all this out, I can start putting the flooring down here and remove all these. I needed these because I needed them to reach up here to mine all that stuff out. 
And then we're gonna start building a wall up here because I think this is close enough. I don't want to go any further because there will be also some heat generated then. Let me see what the heat looks like. Yeah, that's getting hot, so we definitely want to uh, start putting tiles down there as well. There we go. I think they can reach all that, which should be okay. I'm not 100% certain if they can reach the corners here, but they're gonna dig through um, and they're gonna get there eventually. Now, the lights are gonna go up onto that part of the ceiling, so I'm gonna put them in first before I start taking these blocks away because they have quite a reach. If you look at the lights, it usually would be like one, two, three, four high, and it would be here. But if you actually look, if we put them even higher, they have even a wider reach. It's actually quite astounding the reach they have from up here. So they can be in a much bigger room. So here, I think we need two lights for the whole room and that's pretty much it. And that will cover everything in this room, which is absolutely fantastic. So there's another duplicate coming in and food wise, I think we're doing just about okay. We're gonna have to let these guys dig all this out. And that's nearly finished, and I'm just getting the lights in, and then we're gonna have to put the algae terrariums in. I actually forgot they can't actually get down here because I forgot to build a step. They only can go one block up, so this has to be a thing. Balls, I completely forgot. Now this here, I'm not sure why they're not connecting to that. I thought that they can do it from atop here, putting the cable in, because they were able to put the, the lamp in, but I think that might not be the case. So... I have a feeling we're going to have to do this temporarily just until they have the cable in and that should hopefully work uh, sort that issue out but let's go with the duplicate and see what we have now flatulent scary cat gastro oh this one is very good but it's it doesn't like to cook oh she's good iron good just about anything without getting sick Oh man, but we have to make an extra bed then and okay, I'm gonna skip this one for now even though this one is really really good and I'm gonna make sure that I have at least the oxygen generation working before I, before I take on another one So let's hope we can sort this out very soon up there. Can you reach it now? Ah, oh, seriously Oh, okay, great. You found some food. That's awesome. Nice! He can reach it! Yes! Oh, beautiful. Look at the light. That is nice. So let's make these guys a very high priority to get them done. And we can see the light effects here. If we look actually where the light is, we can see where we can place more algae terrariums. So we can place them here, here, and here, and here, and here! Just from this one lamp, which is absolutely fantastic. Then we're going to destroy that block, and we're going to put another one here. Excellent. Oh, that is so brilliant. Let's make sure they're all set to high priority, that they're all built. There we go. And then we can start generating oxygen and we clear all this out. I mean, this is already starting to look very good. That carbon dioxide, I actually have no idea how this carbon dioxide is getting cleaned because we have nothing that really cleans it in the moment. So I'm not sure how it just disappears. It's... I don't know how this works. Does carbon dioxide just by itself eventually get pushed out by oxygen. I mean, this is barely breathable and that was complete dirty and this is nearly all gone. But it hasn't gone up or anything and we have beautiful air up here. Very good air actually up here. And oh, over here we have amazingly good air, but it seems to be under a lot of high pressure. So I have to be careful with that as well because I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. So let's see how the, how the guys get on building the algae farm. Nice, they're off to bed. We also have to start uh, building some tiles here so they can reach everything. One, two, three, four, boom. So we probably should put two tiles here and two tiles here so the guys can reach everything they need to reach. And right, let's make it three. And then one, two, three, four. Yeah, they should be able to dig everything out right here. That's actually brilliant. And then we have our little water tank ready to go. We can put a pump here, pump it into here, and that water tank should be big enough to hold everything. I hope. If not, we're just gonna raise the walls or something. I have no idea. Or we're gonna transfer it. Should we do it down here? No, I don't want to because I don't want to dig a wall around here because this is all very hot stuff. And even though it's obsidian and stuff we need, I don't want to get into the chlorine and all that not yet anyway oh contaminated oxygen and then we have chlorine yes oh look at that we have the little frogger guys here the morbs 
The little morbs. Not sure what their purpose is yet. Okay, we're getting power. We're having air. Now these guys, come on. You gonna put anything in? Oh, they're only a priority of five. So let's make them a seven. And hope they're gonna put the algae in. We have enough algae. We have a lot of algae. And we can get more up here by starting to dig that out. Which is probably something that we should at least mark on a low level to get ready. So if we look here, one, two, three, four, and then boom, here is our tile. Yeah, that's great. And then we can start digging all that out at least. There we go, let's make this a slightly higher than five priority and start digging out all of that jazz here. Nice, that should definitely give us enough algae. Very good. I like it. So we slowly... Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. It slowly gets sorted. Now this should just become very beautiful over time. Getting it all cleared out. And then we're going to connect these guys into here where all the carbon dikes that naturally should just flow down and get cleaned out. And then hopefully we're going to have a very nice base that we can extend over here to make a little mess hall as well. And uh, start extending for showers and whatnot over here as well. Oh man, it looks like we have it all under control, but this game, if it taught me one thing so far, is that whenever you think everything goes well, all of a sudden, BOOM! Something just spits right in your tea and goes, Nope, screw you guys, <laughs> you're going home. Alright, I think we have everything under control so far. We have our tank ready, which still has a lot of dirt underneath there, so we probably should sweep that up. I have marked things for sweeping, but they're not really too concerned about it right now. Our decor rating looks really good around the bedrooms and around here. Now, of course, these pictures are gonna get some important levels uh, raised now in a minute, or priority levels raised so they can get finished, because we at least need to build the frames, all of these frames, and then we're gonna have the pictures up, and that will be very good. Now, down here, we are currently producing enough oxygen as far as I'm concerned, and the computer, for once, is not complaining. So let me see what the research is doing. Okay, we need two more advanced research, and then we can finally put air deodorizers around here because as you can see here while this works well and the air is cleaning out and all this is cleaning out and looks all really nice i don't know how we're gonna get this carbon dioxide over here but hopefully the water will just push it up and eventually will just flow over but as long as it stays down here it should hopefully not be a big of an issue the same for this here i mean it's not moving side to side so worst case scenario we can just start pumping things out once we have the filter for the gas so we can tell it to only get the carbon uh, dioxide uh, pumped out so we also have our compost here, so we definitely need the deodorizer, need to make the pictures. And I think once we have the deodorizers done, the pictures, and we can start getting this oxy carbon dioxide down here, which I hope we can, then what I'm gonna do probably is I'm going to, let me see what we have on tiles. Nothing special yet. So what I might actually do for now, so that the gas can flow really nicely, I'm going to take every second tile out like this, and that would allow the airflow to go a lot quicker so that way that carbon dioxide can go down really really fast here because that's the idea we're going to build a ladder up to basically temporarily dig into here from this side and then basically let the carbon dioxide out because i don't want to do it through here because i want to keep this area kind of safe if you know what i mean And between these three, it should just go poof, down over time. Anyway, so that's the plan. We have our water tank. We're going to build a pump here at some point. We're going to pump everything over here so everything is organized. And then down here, uh, we can prepare an area, like you guys said already in the comments, if I get ever to the point where I have coal power or anything that generates like that power that could potentially create uh, carbon dioxide or contaminated air, put it away from the base. So we're going to put it down here so that nothing can pollute our area up there. So we're doing okay in the moment, so we have no issues. The sweeping could take a little bit more priority. Ah yeah, somebody's finally taking care of the sweeping, which is very nice. And um, I think once we are sorted, we hopefully can go through a little phase where we can just mark everything for sweeping, um, well, in each room, and let, let get them do room by room and have a very nice clean area before we start expanding again. I hope. Because the next thing we're gonna have to do here, oh that's our research, is we're gonna have to make our food, our farm. 
which I think we can do very soon. Let me just see where we have our food here. We can already do our planter boxes, which we should probably end up doing here. That might not be a bad idea. So we might as well start planting them. I don't know exactly how many we need. So I think somebody said three pair duplicate. So one, two, three. And then we're going to leave two spaces because I want to put a picture there and potentially something else here. One. Oh. We're going to do three here. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and two space, and then we're gonna do, oh, there we go, I messed it up. Anyway, I'm gonna fix it in a second, and then we're gonna move other things here, and that should then hopefully create enough food that we don't need the micro, the micro musha anymore. So if this is true, three per duplicate, after we have 15, we can start taking people in again, because we're pretty much self-sufficient then with food, which is very important. And I think that actually is it as well. We're gonna leave the episode here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls. And I hope I see you guys in another video. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. I keep placing it there. Until then, as always, feel Spaß and happy gaming. All right, we're slowly getting there. We have the mess tables queued up so the guys can eat actually somewhere nice. We have the decor rating slowly going up. We might build more pictures actually. I believe pictures kind of stuck and they will help each other out. So we might actually put more pictures there if we need to. And um, we also have this under progress so that we can clear out this water and then build a wall around it and make that our contaminated water tank, which we need first before we can build the showers. Overall, I think we are doing all right we're managing so far i hope our food is slowly becoming a situation but that's what hopefully the planter boxes are going to be taken care of